everybody and their mother just ungrateful hi everyone welcome back to my channel this one is a serious topic it's about you know why are jamaicans living no long talking happy friday let's just get right into it so why are jamaicans living why is our head of state saying um basically that Jamaicans should be more patriotic and Jamaicans should look out for their country and you know it's it's a it's a lot to me it's like watch abuse watch gaslighting right um that's how it is to me because I am very sure some years ago there was another minister of another sector so why are jamaicans leaving this is basically from you know of course the teachers who are leaving and it's not only them a lot of jamaicans are leaving we are number two on the list of you know people who leave their countries we are number two on the brain drain list there must be a reason why we're number two come on like There, there's a there's a reason why we're number two so small but yet say everybody is trying to leave jamaica my advice to those who want to leave is to leave if you want to leave do leave and i'm gonna go through some of the things why people leave jamaica the first thing i'd say is cost of living the cost of living here is ridiculous it's ridiculous you go into the supermarket the bread. You see the price for bread? But I wonder if you see the price for your slice, for your, <laughs> for your slice. But if you see the price for your loaf of bread, it is unbelievable at this point. And okay, the cost of living is high. The time, and I'm not talking about people who are not working. I don't know. I don't know how people who are not working manage. I don't know how people who have a lot of children and can't and can't afford them manage. I'm talking about professionals who are who went to school, who are trained in the area of their profession, who are in their careers, right? Who are making an honest bread. I'm not talking about the chopper them, right? They want chopper line, that's their business. But that I'm talking about those people who are actually contributing to society and they cannot make, make, make ends meet. You have people who are going to pay their loans. Pay their loan. So you have to get a loan before you pay it just to carry it to the next payday. You have people watching them gas tank because let us not go with the gas prices. They might watch them gas tank because they're like, how am I? Just how am I going to make this happen? Watching the gas tank. How am I gonna make this happen? That's all that's what these people are saying. Two strokes or one stroke or three strokes or a quarter tank. Can I can it take me from here to here? It does a push it, it does a wait till PD. It does a try push it as much as possible. You know, these are professionals. I'm not talking about those who are in regular jobs, like if you're an attendant attendant in the supermarket, if you're a merchandise or something, or uh, um labor man you know labor man like if they're building house and you're a labor man and you work x amount for the day or whatever i'm not talking about those people and um you know their pay sometime up sometime don't matter about somebody who have a steady salary coming from government or even private sector but steady salary professionals in their field not people who only have a cxc people who have their associates and their degree and their masters and it's hard for them to make a living now after you've spent all this money to go to school you are telling me that you cannot make a living you cannot say i'm gonna take two weeks vacation out of the year because cost of living is so high you can't save if god forbid you go sick you know god forbid that you go sick because if you go sick a problem whatever little you did save it gone down the drain Okay, you have a health insurance, but after a while, a health insurance will be like, you have filled enough prescriptions, you have gone to enough doctors, 
you have taken enough tests, you have gone to the dentist enough, what do you do then? So because the cost of living is so high, I am not against anybody leaving Jamaica. If you want to leave, you leave. I can imagine them singing, so long bye bye. Imagining that they're singing that to so me when they're on the plane and they're fly out to the 700 teachers for example Of course, they're gonna go in snow them know that Of course, they're going to face hardship and racism and them somebody but they are being compensated and I would like to add Who says they're not being patriotic? Who says they are not being patriotic? How much did we say that we made in remittance? Okay, okay we do make a lot of remittance and these are the same people who are going to go abroad and send money for them family. So how are they not being patriotic? I'm not getting that. Because they still send my money here. Yeah. And Jamaica makes a lot from that. Number one reason to me is cost of living. Which is then coupled by the second one, being underpaid. So you get this amount of training and you go anywhere else in the world. And you may not even need other certifications and if you do it's just like one exam or something um definitely not talking about medicine where you have to do usmle and all of that but there are professions where you can just go do one exam and you go into a program and whatever and there are agencies like i know for the nurses there are and the teachers the two of them I know there are agencies and they sign up for these agencies and they do an exam or they do a test and they plus they do the interview and they get through and they work with this agency for two years and then after that they are in this they do the NCLEX of course or whatever the teachers do the NCLEX is for the nurses and then they go abroad and they do their thing and they that's it and they can take up their families so if you realize that you can make more money and then come back to Jamaica and live a good retirement life, why wouldn't you do that? If, if you want to come back at least, yeah? I see people do that. So when, I'm, and I'm not gonna make it look like, and I know nobody's trying to make it look like Jamaica is the worst. So if it can get better, go where it is. Why wouldn't you go where it is? I'm not, I'm not understanding why people are gaslighting them and oh, you're not patriotic or whatever. Go away right there. It's as simple as that. You have to eat, bills have to pay, life have to live. It's as simple as that. Like, it's, it's kind of one, two, three ABC, in my opinion. Yeah. Go, go where you can do it. A lot of people in Jamaica are working and they can't even pay. So, student loans send them to school and they can't even pay their student loan. Or if they pay their student loan, um, are unable to pay their bills properly. It's less than living from hand to mouth. So they have to go somewhere where they can at least come out of student loan debt. Nobody wants having loan and debt over them. And another thing, three people now must make, must, must put together or can put together to pay for in, for a house for energy. And I'm saying to myself, it's not a solution that cannot be a solution. Three people, three people. Who are these three people? The husband, the wife, and who else? When I, when I, I, I'm not I'm, it's just it's just not adding up it just now I'm at salt three people nah it, it's just not quite adding up I know a lot of young people my age and them own house from them younger than me because they're abroad them own car from them younger than me because they're abroad I know people who own three houses more than and they they're not in real estate, you know. They mean uh, they're like nurses or doctors, but because they're abroad, they are able to do these things. In Jamaica, three people have to put together for buy one house or for be able to pay for one house. If that not ridiculous, I don't know what else is. Honestly, something has to be done. This 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 just can't quite cut it. So what <laughs> added to the cost of living is being underpaid for your services. The next one is being unappreciated. Now there's a Bible verse that talk about if you're unappreciated somewhere, you should shake off your foot, 
leave that house and leave with your blessing. So what do people them feel? They feel unappreciated. So they are ensuring that they leave. They're very biblical. I almost said this a girl I ever find some Bible verse. But it just come to me a while ago. Right? I didn't even do anything more than thought of to for this video more than thought of the things. The just the things that have been going around in my head as to why Jamaicans are leaving. And that just came to me. That biblically it says if you're not appreciated somewhere, you should leave. Right? When you are going to hear, if you don't like it, go somewhere else, leave it. This is from your heads of government. You're you're going to hear um I guess this is the eucalyptus that we're eucalyptus that we're drinking. Um, I'm not a political person and I don't try to get affiliated with any party at all. I, I really don't care as it relates to that. So I'm not bashing one party over the other at all. But what I'm saying is this it cannot. This cannot be it. Alright? Everybody feels like unappreciated. And Jamaicans in general, we can be. And I'm not gonna put this on our heads of women only, because I think it's general across the board. We can be very ungrateful. Um, I'm, for example, in the health sector, and you're dealing with one patient and somebody else come and you must deal with them. No, and if you're not deal with them, they don't see that you're dealing with somebody else. And you're just one person, and you can't do everything one time, and you start to get expletives thrown at you in, like you're in accident and emergency, you get expletives thrown at you, right? And people will tell you, say, nothing else now go on in the eye if this a person and I get taken care of one. As from the medical front. The next side of it is, I remember that teacher that was, the student was fighting off the teacher, right? I remember that the student was fighting off the teacher. And, you know, what was done eventually, you know, it took, it took, a video and all of that and the uproar but a lot of teachers are being beaten off by students a lot of parents are cussing off teachers so not only the not only the the, the, the heads of government or the, the bosses so to speak but also those who you serve are, are unappreciative so you feel unappreciated it's you're unappreciated it's ungratefulness all around ungratefulness all around Everybody and their mother just ungrateful. It's sad. It's 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 really sad. What we have come to and the things that we are beginning to accept in our system. And and then that brings me to something the system is broken. So when you when you have something that can be done in two steps. But because it's always been done this way, it's done in 20 steps. And it makes it harder for you, the person, carrying out those steps. And when we went through it, the antiquated stupidity of, I went through it, so you must just suck it up and don't complain about it. You're trying to effect change and you just can't because other people who suffer it say you must suffer too. It's ridiculous. So you're going to take yourself or you're going to go to where there's a system that is much, much more effective. It's... it's don't take much brain cells to be like, if I am not getting the result I want here, then I go over there. If I see other people who are making it and they are doing just fine where they are. Why wouldn't I take a lesson out of their book and just be like, you know what? I am going to leave. I'm going to leave because I saw this person in my position have three kids at them yard, for example, a teacher, struggling it out um, to make ends meet. I'm gonna see them go out for him, take up them Pitney, um, take up them husband, and um, after taking up Pitney and them husband, them finish building them house in Jamaica, plus them flying in and out, plus their kids are doing exceptional, and I'm here dying struggling working my fingers to the bone for what exactly i see those people now say you know i'm gonna sell this house that i bought and build a house or buy a house in ochi or <laughs> in ochi or somewhere else because they can my retirement home people are my plan their retirement and you still there the same place that they left you years ago why wouldn't you leave the system is broken 
and we're not trying to fix it. Those who are trying to fix it, you're deemed as difficult. It has always been this way, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So those are some other things. Another thing, stress. Stress. I saw so many teachers recently die. So of course, my expect 700 teacher for leave. I think it's like 600 to 700 or something like that. Of course, I expect them to leave. Why would they stay to also become a statistic of those who dropped down and did? Whether it was for medical reasons or just the stress of the job, I don't want to be a part of that statistic. I don't want to be a part of that statistic. Um, I mentioned in my video before that me, I'm one that eats. There are many, many doctors who get ulcers. Another one in there, many doctors who get UTIs, urinary tract infections, because they just don't go to the bathroom and they don't eat essential things for them to be healthy. They just can't do it because the job is so demanding. I'm sorry, no. Not I. Right? And you sacrifice your health and then if you drop down dead, basically somebody filling your, your post and it's just a picture of gone too soon and by tomorrow somebody, well they might hold out one day but an application is on that HR's desk for your job long time ago, ages ago. We make you know that, right? So, a lot of people leaving because they don't wanna, they wanna avoid that type of stress. Which teacher want to drop down again and add to the statistic? The only statistic they want to add to is those who have left and have made it. And as I said before, I think I, I have, I know that this has nothing to do with patriotism because when you're patriotic. You love your country, yes, and all of that. But you also can give to your country. If you're in your country, you can't give or add to it, really. Why are you even here? So, the thing is, they are actually there, as I said before, and they are also contributing to their country. In some way or another, whether it's remittance or however else, they are contribute, man. And crime. Have we seen the crime? Have we really seen the crime? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The crime in Jamaica is unreal. Definitely unreal. And I used to jog my neighborhood some mornings ago. So I wonder which morning? Months ago. And I had to stop because some guy approached me and two other men one man ran out of his house towards me and he was like talking to me as if he knew me like hey well, why are you good whatever and then i on the other side of me uh be a big pickup van i think it was a ford or chevrolet or something like that you know one of those big pickup vans like it's tough and he's like hi morning talking the two of them were talking to me like they know me because i saw the guy approaching me and the guy who was in the van he while i walked he drove with me and he's like go to your house because that guy is a thief and we know him as a rapist and thank God we saw you because I don't know what he would have done and I'm like, what? Thank God those two were there. You know, and there's so many more stories. More than that, how many missing girls are we having? And I'm not going to make it look like none of these things will exist abroad, right? But them things that have in Jamaica, enough, enough, enough. Everybody knows somebody who got shot, who was a victim of a crime or something was robbed right everybody can attest to that so cost of living is just too much here the stress levels are high i think they are higher everywhere but yes so uh -uh. crime being unappreciated those who are ungrateful why wouldn't a jamaican leave that wants to leave if you don't want to leave that's fine right but if you want to leave also fine, kudos to you, do you, take your wings and fly, go, I am all about that. Go, 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 leave, make something of yourself and most times Jamaicans will miss home and come back eventually and add back to our society. So I don't know what is the, it's just because right now the brain drain is affecting the educational sector, that's why I think we're talking about it. But when it trickles out, nobody's counting through the year. January to December, but because it was a massive thing and then school starting back, so we're now looking at teachers and whatever, but 
that's just my two cents on, as to why people are leaving and i'm all for it if you want to get up and go go if you want to do your NCLEX, if you want to do your usmld if you want to do your boards abroad if you're a lawyer go do your thing you know get your wings and fly um it doesn't make you less patriotic it doesn't mean you love jamaica any less it means that you food off to eat, clothes off to wear, bills off to pay, life off to live, and you need to do what you need to do to ensure that you get those things, all right? So that was just my two cents on Jamaicans leaving, and don't feel afraid or ashamed if you need to leave to do you to ensure that you get to add more to your family's life and your own life, and eventually add more to Jamaica because maybe if you stayed here, you're unable to do that. All right? Be encouraged. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below. If there's any other thing that you'd like to comment on this topic about Jamaicans leaving, feel free to do so. All right? Bye.